2021 Audi e-tron Sportback Review, Style Overall But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 Audi e-tron Sportback breaks both new and familiar ground. German brands have been taking conventional two-box crossovers and trimming them down to craft more evocative and interesting shapes for years now, but the e-tron Sportback is the first electric crossover to adopt the automotive mullet. This not-so-novel approach has yielded familiar results. The e-tron Sportback is more pleasant to look at, a bit less practical, and otherwise drives similarly to its conventionally styled sibling. Its bigger issue is that the market for EVs is far different now, and the e-tron will need more than good looks to compete against both newer competitors like the BMW X and Ford Mustang Mach-E GT and old rivals like the Tesla Model X. The regular Audi e-tron is a handsome car, with good proportions and a pleasant face. The Sportback treatment elevates the exterior design, though, with the fast back roofline and short rear deck creating a far more attractive profile. The e-tron is a relatively large, heavy vehicle, and yet the new roofline dramatically reduces the visual mass, making this EV look smaller than it is. It wasn't until we parked the Audi next to the Polestar 2 we were testing concurrently, and which you can read all about here, that we realized how large this Audi really is. The roofline looks broadly similar ahead of the B-pillar, but plunges down rather aggressively rear of there. It's less like the stubby fastback you see on the Audi Q5, SQ5 Sportback or Porsche Cayenne Coupe, and more like the traditional Sportback body found on the A5 or A7 family. Either approach would have improved the e-tron's profile, but the sleeker design serves this larger vehicle well. Considering the e-tron was always a bit shorter vertically than more traditional CUVs, the Sportback treatment makes it look more like a slightly lifted sedan. Despite the flashier exterior, the e-tron Sportback's cabin is identical to its conventional sibling. In other words, it's beautiful. While there remains a bit too much piano black, the application of it, combined with the use of leather, aluminum accents, and matte woods offsets the substantial amount of plastic. The designs themselves are pleasing, too. The throttle-like shifter feels like it came from the bridge of the Starship Enterprise, as do the twin displays on the center stack and the digital cluster. The four-spoke steering wheel is lovely too, and feels very natural to hold. Yoke-like wheels like this and their two-spoke counterparts are catching on in luxury applications and we couldn't be happier to see something beyond the usually arrangement at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. The e-tron's 12-way front chairs are excellent, offering impressive support and ample bolsters without sacrificing ease of entry. We especially like the optional Valcona leather, which feels well worth the Prestige Pack's $13,200 price tag. Sightlines are fantastic forward and laterally, but that fastback shape is tougher to see out the back of. The seating position here is quite good, with the high center console and well-padded arm rests providing support while gripping the steering wheel. Heating is standard, and while ventilation and massage functions are optional, we'd recommend them all the same. Now, onto that back seat.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.